Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Now we'll start lesson number 15. So here we learn some more plural pronoun like plural of anti is antunna. Plural of ki is kunna. Before this you have learned this that anti is marfu and ki is mansub and majroor form. Similarly antunna is marfu and kunna is both mansub and majroor form. So in this lesson, we learn the following: the plural of anti you, the menstrual blood is antina. Antuna. Antina. Antuna. Can you hear me? Miss Amin Abdi Hassan has lost her internet connection. So, Rina, read this. Yes, sir. From where? From um, the beginning. In this lesson, we learn the following. Uh, one, the plural of anti, you, feminine singular, is antuna. Uh, man antuna ya ahawati, ahawati, who are you sisters? Uh, nahnu banatul imami, we are the imam's daughter. And uh, second, the plural of ki, your feminine singular is whom. Example, aina baitu kunna ya sayidatu. Where is your house, ladies? Baituna, baituna koribun minal masjidi. Our house is near the mosque. No, Rizwana. Yes, sir. Continue. We have learned Zahabti, you and feminine singular. Its plural is Zahabtunna. For example, Aina Zahabtunna, Ya Akhawatu. Where did you go, sisters? Aina Zahabtum, Ya Ikhwanu. Where did you go, brothers? So, what is the Arabic of he went. He went. Yes. Zahaba. They went masculine. Zahabtum. Wrong answer. Huh? Wrong answer. Anyone else? Zahabu. Zahabu is correct. So they went is Zaha Bu. What is Zahabtum? Zahabtum, you all went. Okay. Then what is the Arabic of she went? Zahabat. Zahabat. And what is the Arabic of they went feminine? Zahabtunna? No. Wrong answer. Anyone else? Uh, Zahaba. Wrong answer. Zahabna. Okay, okay. Sorry, Zahabna. Zahabna. Okay. Then you went masculine. Zahabta. 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 You all went masculine. Zahabta. Zahabta. Tum. Zahabta. Tum. You all masculine went. 
then you went feminine zahabat wrong answer you went yes you went feminine oh you went so zahabta wrong answer with a small zahabti zahabti you are went feminine all dahabna wrong answer zahabtunna zahabtunna ke you all went feminine zahabtunna then we have i went zahabtu zahabtu i went zahabtu we went zahabna zahabna correct next we have another word miss rina is silent let me ask her what is the arabic of he wrote <laughs> he wrote okay. uh he wrote um um i forget anyone else kataba kataba they wrote katabu they wrote katabu i hope it's right <laughs> katabu this time it's right katabu then she wrote katabat katabat correct she wrote katabat then they all feminine wrote um kat katabna katabna correct katabna okay then you wrote masculine um kat katabta katab kataba katabta katabta you all wrote masculine uh, katabtum katabtum correct then you wrote feminine katabti katabti correct you all wrote feminine katabtunna katabtunna okay then i wrote mm katabu wrong answer katabtu 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 we wrote katabna uh, katabna katabna correct next we have what like kabla and raja ostani this now satya okay kabla means before bada means after uh, they are always mudaf and the noun following them means um, majrur rajao rajao he returned then ar araja al imam minal masjid araja araja al imam minal masjid 
has the Imam returned from the mosque? Has the Imam returned? Sahab to Ilal Masjidi Kabul al Azani Wa Rajah to Bada Salati. I went to the mosque before the Azan and returned after the Salah. Okay. So just remember Bada and Kabul like this, Kastra to the next one, then we have a verb Raja, then we have vocabulary. Miss Amin Abdi has read the vocabulary. Okay, now, where is this word Al-Iraqatu? Sorry, there is something coming in my phone, so that's why I can't see. Al-Qahiratu, sorry. Al-Qahiratu, Qahiro. Al-Asbu'u, week. Al-Usbu'u. Drasu. Al-Usbu'u. Rasu lesson. Adarsu. Al ikhtibaru. Adarsu lesson. Al ikhtibaru examination. Hey, do you see the vowels clearly that are written here? Like for That's the what's making the problem clearly. That's why I'm making the mistakes in the in the harakat which is down and up. Okay, so next we have the Khamis Ashara 15th lesson. We'll start next time, inshallah. So let me tell you all a very important thing that you all need to know. At the moment, all of you are in the elementary level, okay. But soon, inshallah, you will all reach intermediate level. Okay. So we are giving you here free classes. This means we are expecting you that you will transfer this knowledge to other students as well. Okay. So when you will reach yeah. intermediate level, when we think that you are your level of Arabic has increased then we will give you two options one option we will give you a class similar to this one just like you have a class we will give you students and you will teach them in a way i am teaching you and other teachers are teaching okay this is option number one in which we will give you a bunch of students and you will teach them but in case if anyone does not have time for teaching, then we will give him another option that she can hire a teacher for at her uh, instead of her, and that teacher will we will give student to her and she can uh, teach to the students. So at the moment you are at elementary level, you don't need it, but just I am telling you that when your level will increase. We will give you some students that you will teach them for free, okay? Any question? What is the meaning of option two? Option two means higher teacher, which means that if you don't have a time for teaching, let's say you don't, you, uh, you have a busy schedule, and you cannot give a class daily like this one, then you can hire a teacher from, there are many teachers available online. We can also tell you how to hire a teacher. You will hire a teacher and he will teach at your place. Okay, he or she. Will guide you about everything. Will also give you students. There are plenty of students online who wants to study Arabic, but we don't have teacher at the moment. Basically, we can't afford any more teachers. We have already given 
I think two plus two four. At the moment, we are giving six classes, six group classes. And there are many more students who wants to run, but we cannot afford more teachers. So it has only one solution that we teach students and once they are they have a good grip on Arabic, they will teach the others. So this is the only solution that we think is possible at the moment, okay? Mm. Anybody, any question? I still have a question. Yes. Uh, meaning of this. Uh, Sorry? Dostu Sorry? Dostu Runa basically mean our guide, our constitution. Al Quran, Dostu Runa, basically it means Holy Quran is our constitution. You're welcome. So we'll continue next time, inshallah. Ma salama. Ma salama. Ma salama.